Fancy Tauchin Charles, Lancer Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White Yes Lock. In the last episode, we made it right here to Twist Mountain and we uh, got about halfway through before finishing off, uh, you know, here in Twist Mountain uh, with the Doctor. And in today's episode, I'm just going to come out with it. Uh, for this, I need to get serious with you guys. We're going to be talking a lot about Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you do not want me to talk about Pokemon Sword and Shield, mute the episode right now. Mute it. Go and put some music on in the background. Hell, I suggest you go and listen to Power Zone for this week because we had people uh, we had people in from a popular metal magazine and we were talking about Pentrafest, which is a festival that happened over here over the weekend. Go and listen to some music or uh, stuff. And watch the video in the background. That's what I suggest you do. Watch the video and then also you know, mute me if you don't want me to talk about the new Pokemon games. Because I'm going to talk about the new Pokemon games. I have opinions on the new Pokemon games and I want to talk about them. I don't want to make unlisted videos and say, if you want to watch my opinions, watch this unlisted video on my channel and it will not go live because I will not talk about the new Pokemon games in any other video other than this one video. I don't want to do that. I want to I want to bring you guys in. I want to give you guys my opinions, but if you don't want them, I'm okay with that too. Also, if you don't want spoilers, I'm also okay on that too. Again, mute me if you don't want spoilers. Anyway, with all that being said, I am Lantern Joe. We are doing comic relief, so I need to put my red nose back on. Anyway, hey, so let's talk. So, as we, as I said, Pokemon Let's Go, you know, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, for me, look absolutely amazing. Now, honestly, we got about a minute's footage from that game, but like, honestly, from what I saw, I liked. I am very, very excited for these games. I am very, very into these games. And I want these games to be a hell of a lot of fun. I have seen videos from both sides of the discussion board. I will admit, I have seen videos uh, for this game that have been both positive and negative. I have seen those videos, but I've seen negative opinions to these games. I've seen positive opinions to these games. I've seen people like these games. I've seen people literally like hate these games. I've seen people say that these people uh, that Pokemon have done amazing work and have done something new and something never tried before. And I've also seen people say that Pokemon has done absolutely nothing new and uh, uh, they don't even want to think about even buying the game. Literally, they just literally turned off immediately. I have seen that. I've seen from both sides of the story uh, because I wanted to get an opinion. I wanted to get an opinion. And opinions are both positive and negative for uh, anything. And I get that. I absolutely get that opinions can be both positive and negative for anything. And in this game, I feel like that is what people gave me. Both positive and negative opinions for these games. And I... I'm very positive. I'm always very positive when it comes to Pokemon games. And I will always will be. God damn it, why do you have to have a flying type move? That was a... Get out of there immediately. Toad! Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. That was a crit. That was a crit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry, I needed to focus on the game for a sec there. You know, as soon as I hear that doo 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 doo, as soon as I hear the that I'm in red, I need to worry. And it's a good thing I'm near the doctor because I could just go back and heal immediately. It just doesn't take just takes me a couple of seconds and I'm healed again. So I'm not worried. I'm not too worried. I just don't want to 
I just don't want to lose any more Pokemon for the moment in time. Especially when I'm in a cave and there's only trainer battles about. Ooh, item. Stop giving me things that I can only sell in the after game. You know, in the after game, I'm going to be rich, but the fact is, I'm not playing the after game. I mean, not now anyway, but like at one point we might do after game. I don't know. But really, I'm going to be rich in the after game, just not right now. Because you keep on giving me items I can only sell in the after game for monies. Can't really do anything else with these items. So let's talk about the new starters. Okay, so we got a gra uh, we got a a fire squirrel, uh, fire rabbit named uh, Score Bunny. Now I like Score Bunny. I like it. It's a very interesting one, and it seems to be the internet's favorite. From what I've seen of the internet, it seems to be the internet's favorite. And I like it. Honestly, it's an interesting little Pokemon. It's a little... The name is a little bit on the tongue. I will admit the name... Sorry, I hit the table. It's a little bit on the tongue. I am not a fan of something like... Just literally like, it is what it is. It's a literal rabbit. It's a literal bunny. It's a literal scorching bunny. That's literally what it is. That's literally what they have gave us. It's a scorching bunny. It's Score Bunny, Scorch Bunny. Hey, and that's what they gave us. It's a little bit on the nose, but like... It works for anything. Like, look at Infernape, for example. Infern Ape. Inferno. And, of course, Ape. Infern Ape. It works for any Pokemon. I'm gonna go into Toad. He's got a Volibee as well, so literally, like, I know how to play these Pokemon now, because about we need to get a Drill Pack. Yeah, see? I don't want to play it like that. I don't like that. I really don't like that. There we go. I gotta learn how to play these. I gotta learn how to play like every Pokemon. Because I don't wanna lose. If I don't wanna lose Pokemon, I gotta learn how to play them. Ignore my phone. I need to turn that on silent. Sorry about that, guys. That's just my mom telling me she is at home. She. Uh, you know, I can come down later and watch the next episode of Good Doctor. Because that's what me and my mum are into. Yeah, I really like The Good Doctor. It's a good show. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's like a, it's basically about a doctor who has, who is me, a doctor who has Asperger's. That's amazing, and literally what they have to go through having Asperger's and being a doctor, and that makes it really good. I like the show because of those reasons, and it gives me an interesting little perspective into what people are, uh, what people have to go through in the working world with disabilities. It's because. Let's just face it, I have not been in the working world yet, and, well, looking at a lot of things, I might not be in the working world anytime soon. But, yeah, uh, Pokemon, uh, we also got, anyway, we also got, uh, let's talk about the grass starter, okay. Yeah, we got, uh, what is it now? Grookey? Yeah, Grookey. Grookey. I am a definite fan of Grookey. I am a definite fan of Grookey. Grookey will be my starter. I feel like that is a po uh, that is a monk uh, that is a Pokemon that would actually like crawl up on your shoulder and uh, live there. Literally, just that's where he would. That's where they would be. That's my thing about Grookey. He just seems like that's the kind of Pokemon that would just. Uh, walk onto your sh uh, would live on your shoulder, and he's a really he's a really cool monkey. I really like Rookie. He seems a bit cheeky as well, and that's really cool. I like the fact that he's a cheeky monkey. Yes, again, the name is a bit predictable. I will admit this, ladies and gentlemen. I will predict the name is a bit predictable. Grass monkey, Rookie. Yes, I get it. I get it. Believe me, I get it. 
I get your I get your problems. I get your symbolizations, and I get I get it. Believe me, I get it. We could have had a drowsy. I mean, I'm okay with wheezing. Wheezing, uh, me fade is going to be good. Uh, me fade is going to be good. But like, I could have had a drowsy, and I like drowsy. The and from what I honestly, maybe there won't be a lot of new Pokemon. For me personally, that's okay. Hey, for other people that might not be okay. That might not be okay, but we don't get a lot of new Pokemon. For me, that's okay, and for me, I'm okay with that. And I'm very, very happy. What what we're getting is what we're get. Uh, what we're getting could be very small, but it could be rather interesting too. I don't know if Pokemon wants to reach that total of 1,000 Pokemon just yet, and that's why they're shortening the Pokedex so they don't reach that total yet. Hmm, pretty strong. But are you only strong because your trainer's controlling Pokemon? Ah. So if we, uh, what, if you want us to set our Pokemon free, why don't you start with your own? Instead of taking over people's Pokemon by force. That's not real strength. Hey, there you are. We found something, we found the thing we're looking for. We should head to the tower now. Get this, Team Plasma is, uh, in talents, uh, uh, sorry. I am never going to get that word, but, uh, in trained on the power to change, obtained the power to change the world, obtained, that's it, the obtained, and, and end people's control over Pokemon, that's right, we must force the work are right on the world to do the wrong to right the wrongs of this world now let's gather around our leader n those guys i don't know what they have found but they uh, go the extra mile to gain power to co and cause trouble what a bothersome bunch joe i'm going to stay here for a while I want to think about what I want to do after about what the champion asked me. What do I want to do with my power after I get strong? And why do I want to be strong in the first place? Again, ignore my phone. It seems to be going off a lot. God damn it, my phone. I mean, whatever it is, I'll get back to you at some time. Hello, Joe. Wait, no, it's Cedric. Hello. Hello, Joe. How's my electric? Um, Shox is fine, thank you very much for asking. This my electric is really taking the shine to you. It should do. I mean, it's Shox. It's Shox from Glaze. And gl sh Glaze was amazing. The Pokédex is important, but time spent with together with Pokémon is also fun. Say... Hey, I just had a thought. Have you heard of Dragon Spiral Tower? No. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm supposed to say yes, damn it. Never mind. I'm not surprised you haven't. Give this story a listen. Actually, it probably would have been better if I didn't say it. If I did if I said no. Because, you know, this gives this the story. Dragon Spiral Tower is said to be the Unova region's oldest building. Stories say... Me, where it's where legends have come, uh, have came to life, and remain in deep slumber. I just know it. Uh, it's just Isiris's past. I know it's Isiris's past, but that's all I know about it. That's all anyone knows, because no one's ever been inside. My daughter has wanted to investigate this tower for a long time. What? There's something I don't know. That makes me feel f uh, full of adventure. I'm never too old to start doing some adventuring. So I must go to Dragon Spiral Tower. Let's catch you later. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we might not get a, like a huge Pokedex. I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with not getting a huge Pokedex. And if that's the case, if we if Ninte if Game Freak is really worried about hitting that 1,000 uh, Pokemon turtle and want to do something amazing when they actually do hit that turtle, uh, then that's cool. Because like honestly. A couple of seasons ago, we hit Pokemon 666, and it's Vivalon. It's nothing, <laughs> you know. As much as I hate, as much as uh, Vivalon can be, it is nothing. It is literally nothing. It is literally nothing. It is not the devil of Pokemon. Oh my god, I got a Pansia as my encounter for Iceris City. The Village of Ice gives me a Pansia. The Village of Ice gives me a Pansia. Okay. I'm gonna throw a ball. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna bug bush you again. But bug bush did about half. For a resistant hit, it did actually do some damage. So I was a little worried about hitting him again for that one reason. Okay, so we got Pansia, the high tempo Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I can call you Fiery, after my good friend Fiery Dance, who is doing... Uh, the layout for my next series, and we'll also be doing the layout for my uh, for my Pokemon Sword uh, for my Pokemon Sword and Shield playthrough. Yes, I will. Uh, you know what? Hear me now. Believe me later. As a Flygon comes onto the screen, better Pokemon. God damn it! Anyway, hear me now. Believe me later. We will be playing through. Pokemon Sword and Shield on the channel. That is official. I announced it over Twitter last night, but in, just in case you aren't following my Twitter or you only watch my videos, you know, I will be playing these games. There will be playthroughs on this channel with these games, and I cannot wait to give you guys those playthroughs on this channel. Oh, now, Dragon Spiral Tower. I'm going to come out and say this right now. I am initiating... I am initiating Pinwheel Claws again here, because this is Dragon Spiral Tower, but there's also the insides of Dragon Spiral Tower, and they have two completely different catch lists. So with that in mind, I am doing this my way, and I am, and I am encouraging you guys to do it your way as well, but the fact is, I'm, I'm initiating uh, Pinwheel Claws. And with that in mind, Pinwheel Claws initialized. Magma! Daddy! You know, I caught one of you in Re Let's Go, but I didn't get a chance to use you. And honestly, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. So, I definitely wouldn't mind having you on the team, and I definitely wouldn't mind using you. So, yeah, Derry, very excited to have a Magma. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I am not damn it. I'm not hitting you again. I am not hitting you again. It seems like we're going back to the old mechanics with uh, these games, too. Um, I better heal. Yeah, I better heal. Anyway, it seems like we're going back to the old mechanics with these games, uh, which I am very much okay with. I am very much okay with having to battle Pokemon again for, to catch them. I'm very much okay with Pokemon not following me. Uh, around and me not seeing Pokemon around the region as much as I did in Let's Go because the fact is that 
game lagged. I know people don't believe me when I say that, but it did. Honestly, it lagged. And it, I just don't, mate, I just don't like it. I'm just not a big fan of seeing Pokemon in the Afterworld. I mean, I was a huge fan of seeing Pokemon follow me, but honestly, I feel like it worked for what it was, you know? Let's Go was supposed to be a yellow remake. And in yellow, your starter Pokemon follows you around. Now, oh, Hot Cold Soul Silver was a different thing, okay? Hot Cold Soul Silver was a different thing. And the reason why people follow you, that Pokemon follows you around, you know, Pokemon follow you around in Hot Gold and Soul Silver is another hit back to yellow. It is, it's, uh, like, because Yellow, I, mean, I think it's, like, Hot Gold Soul Silver came out on the 10th anniversary of Yellow. Or round about the celebratory game to the 10th anniversary of Pokemon. And that's why, you know, coming out in the, the 10th anniversary of Pokemon coming out in the States. You know, Yellow coming out in the States. So that is why we got that. So, to those people who do not like... I mean, I might have something for you. I um, mean, are you someone who likes the Relic Crowns? No, you're not someone who likes the Relic Crowns. Do you like a Big Nugget? Because I have those, and I will give you those if that's what you like. Because I have those. Uh, do I have any big... Where's my big... Where's my big nuggets? Can I sort this? That no, items have been sorted. Okay. Can I sell you? Alright. Do you like rare bones? No. Do you like big nuggets? Oh, you do. You. Oh, you love big nuggets. I will definitely give you one of those. Hey, would you like another one? Give me another 30 grand. Thank you! Hey mate, do you like little nuggets? Because I have one of those too, and I was going to sell this to the bot, but like, if you give me more money for it, I will definitely buy it. I have a few of these. Oh, you give me more money! Okay, sell the, sell your nuggets to this guy. Don't sell your nuggets to the boss, but now we can give you five grand. This guy gives you ten and thirty for the big ones. So give him, you know, sell your nuggets to that guy. Don't sell the nuggets to the boss. They only give you five grand. I mean, five grand's cool, but like, if someone's going to give me ten grand for a nugget, I'm going to say yeah, like every time. I'm going to say yeah every time. And you're going to say, here, take my, you know, take my nugget, give me your money. Every single time. Right, let's go get one more encounter before we end off today's episode. Uh, because I don't really want to go and take on a gym right now. I feel like that, I feel like taking on a gym is to start and finish it. You know, it's... At the end of an episode is a silly idea. Honestly, at the end of an episode, taking on a gym is a silly, silly, silly idea. And I'm not doing it. So, with that in mind, I'm, I'm not taking on a gym, not today. I hope you're okay with this. And I hope that you guys are fine. I hope that you guys don't get annoyed at me for not taking on the gym. It's just that we are 25 minutes into this episode and I don't want to do that. So, we talked about the grass starter. We talked about the, uh, the fire starter. Let's talk about the water starter. So, Squabble. Oh, as it's called. 
uh, in these games. I'm, if I'm not pronouncing them right, it's because I've literally had like a minute's footage and I'm having to learn how to pronounce these Pokemon off a minute's footage and them saying the names literally like once. So that's literally all I'm going off when it comes to these uh, when it comes to these new Pokemon. It's like literally like give me more time to learn these new regions. Give me more time to learn these new Pokemon, and then I will get their names. Okay. Give me more time, and then we will get all the things that we need to get for this game. Give me more time, and we will get this. But for now, Swabble. Oh. And, uh, he just used uh, He just used a four times effective move on me. God damn it. I said stop doing that. I literally said stop doing that. Uh Bridge mail, which is awful. Okay, so my encounter. Hello, James. It's good to see you again. It is literally good to see you again, mate. Okay, I need to heal. Magma Storm is scary. Milk! You need milk for your bones, shocks! Rest! I mean, maybe I could try a ball. Yeah, maybe I could try a ball. No. So we need a magma storm, but we need a rest. Come on, I need to know your resting moves, sir. Or you need to wake up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to hit you again. I don't think I can hit you that often. That's my thing about you. You seem to be a very power... You seem to be quite scary to deal with. I'm going to try to throw one more ball and then I might try and switch out because I'm not sure what else I could do to you with uh, shocks here. Yeah, you're not even bouncing. What's that? Snatch? Oh yeah, snatch. Okay, so that's a new. F that's your third move. There we go. There we go. You get name James. You guys know how much I. You guys know how much I love Bulbasaur, and I'm very, very excited to have a Bulbasaur again. I don't know if I'll be using you because I d do kind of have a lot of Grass type Pokemon in the box, and Darude, uh, you know, would uh, is a option as well. But James is also there, and I want to give him the opportunity to be there. 
That being said, what else could we have had? Seedra! That's... No, oh, wait, that's a Kingdra! That would have been cool. I just want the item. TM22 Endeavor. Maybe I didn't want the item. Maybe I didn't want the item after all. Right, let's just get back to Iceris City and then we'll end today's episode. So, excuse the fact I'm going to be using this Miss B button for a couple of seconds here, guys. Because you know I'm going to run into a load of battles. Well, I'm glad I didn't fight this. I mean, Kingdra is uh, something I wouldn't mind picking up because it's something I have, I have never used the... Uh, the Seedra Kingdra Horsey Evolution line ever on my in my entire Pokemon life because I get it too late in the game for me to actually bother to even pick it up most of the time. So I never use the Pokemon. But, you know, I'm very glad I didn't pick up a Spike. <laughs> because I hate Spike. But anyway, with that being said, I am very much going to say goodbye to you guys now and, uh, and end off this episode here. So, I'm very much excited for these new games. Let me know your opinions down in the comment section down below. And also, with this reveal cycle of new games, let me know what your situations are. Do you want me to talk about these games in videos? Or do you not want me to talk about these games in videos? Let me know. Are you wanting to stay spoiler free forever? Or do you want to have a nice, calm, opinionated discussion like we're trying to have right now? Because that's what I want to do with you guys. I want to have nice, calm, opinionated discussions, both positive and negative, and get them out there so we can have a smorgasbord of different opinions and we can gain a group opinion on these games and any Pokemon games that come out now, any games that have come out in the past, and any games that come out in the future. That's what I want. And if you guys don't want that, I'm pretty sh okay, I'm okay with that. But I want to have a discussion board. I want to be able to discuss things with you guys. And I want to be able to have like podcasts in the future that you guys can listen to on the go with my good friends, uh, uh, with some of my good friends as we do the um, as we do a discussion board which i would really like to have because i do have like a dis twitter group where i talk about thing you know like twitter group where we discuss things like uh, games and stuff like that with uh, chrome and uh, with chrome and eyes another youtuber uh, and uh, pika plays hd another good friend of mine uh, who i want to do a series with eventually We've been talking about doing a series with eventually, but we're still discussing a few things, so we need to get back to them and talk about more of those things. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I want to have a sort of discussion board, sort of podcasty style thing going into E3, and I want to know if you guys would be okay with that kind of video going up on the channel around about E3 time. We talk about it going into the Nintendo conference, what we expect to see, what we'd like to see, what predictions that we could see and stuff like that, and then going out to the Nintendo conference, reacting on what we did see, because that would be pretty cool to do, and then doing that again for Sword and Shield, and other games to come down the line, because I'm not saying I want to turn this game into a gaming, I don't want to turn this ser this channel into this gaming channel, because that will never work, but I want to turn this into a place where you can talk about games. We play Pokemon, but I want to talk about games. That's literally what I want this to be. Basically Nintendo games. But I want to be able to give you guys a discussion board. And that's what we should have. You know, we should be able to discuss things. I have opinions. You guys have opinions. We all have opinions. And if we talk about our opinions together, it makes us informed. Anyway, until next time, I am Lantern Joe. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really enjoyed this episode, and you have the monies to, then please, please, donate some money to Comic Relief. You know, it's just a pound, that's all I ask. The donation link is the first link in the description below, and, tell, uh, and tells you all the things you need to do, and it takes you literally like five seconds to do it. And it, it just... 
it would be better. It would be nice if you did it. You're not obliged to. You don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. And if you don't have the money to, please do not do it. Because, you know, you're in a situation where money is... Uh, are as important to you as money is important to Comic Relief. So if that is the case, don't spend money. You know, don't do this. But if you can do it, please do it. And, you know, please help people who are in need and make, you know, it'll make you feel better inside. I'm not encouraging you to do it. You're not obliged to do it. But if you want to and if you can, do. But if you can't, that's all perfectly okay too. Anyway, until next time, I am... Lantern Joe, mean to that Pokemon, get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon Sword and Shield. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos, and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe, and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.